Hey guys, this is the Dark Preacher, and welcome back to Grimco R&D. So, I've been working on some stuff since last episode, and some of that stuff involves my elevator being gone, plus everything down here being gone, plus everything down here being gone, including the turret I set up last episode. <laughs> So all that's gone. Why? Because it's moving day. Yeah. So, um. Oh, by the way, I got a new, uh. <laughs> new ability. Levitation. It makes things float. So, yeah. Anyway. I have picked out a spot in Redburg and cleared it out and got it all set up the way I want. Basically, it's a blank slate right now. And it's all because uh, Vagram, as you can see, has been hard at work fixing up his own tower and customizing it the way he wants. Now, that building's clear, that building's clear, this building's clear, that building's clear, that one I think is clear, this one I know is clear. Basically, I get bored, I hop on, instead of recording, I clear a building. And this is it. I cleared this entire thing. This is four buildings. Four buildings. Four buildings, and it has one, two, three, four, four floors and a roof. Plus, a bat pole. <laughs> so what I do is, I very carefully come in here, and down I go. So, I'm going to be setting up everything. Uh, I gotta figure out where I want to do my storage room for s certain. Because I'm going to have a main trunk running down part of the building. <sighs> That's for items and power and automation. Yeah. Mm. Do I want to do a second floor? Nah, let's do it on third floor. Third floor works because uh, I don't have the one with my. No, that's this. No, that's not it. That was the last one I packed, but that's not the one I had. Oop. Put that back. That's empty. Let's put that there. That one there. Is this the last one? Yeah, this is the last one. This has got my stuff for my storage system. And there's still that bug with the uh, tiny reactors where if you wrench up or break the reactor vent, it turns into an iron reactor vent no matter what what level of vent it is. So... Yeah, I gotta find... There it is. Storage Network Master. Right, go there. Uh, storage Network Master. Go... Wow. Oh. Here. I'll set that to that. So I can at least open it up. Uh, let's see here. I need my cables. Which are going to go across the ceiling. Oop. 
right over to here. And then we'll get the storage link cables. Put two there. Two more there. I'm going to change out these panes for actual glass. I get the feeling I might need to get rid of this building as well, but I might use that for something else. Okay, so. You go there. And then you go there. You go there. And giant yawn. I've been very tired lately and I have no clue why. That go there. That go there. Put that there. Actually, we'll grab that one. That one. Put that one there. And then, hooray, I've got access to all my stuff again. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. And then we'll put this, oh, not there, not that one, this one, put that one there, and let's see, since these are all empties, one is empty, 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 put away the empty ones, um, we need to go down to a crafting area, which is going to be a floor below. We'll put the TF2 crafting table there. Let's see, storage is up a floor. So this is Storage, and I've got lots of room for storage in here. Lots of room. When I start getting into AE2, all I gotta do is take all these and put uh, storage buses on them. And then run cables accordingly. So, uh, yeah. A boil extractor. Hmm, I'm thinking we'll be switching over to tree power. And so I think I might uh, take down one of these towers up here, put up my tree farm. Because this roof is two blocks thick. So when it comes to designing things like this, Machete is a genius. Let's see here, that, that, uh, this is all going to be processing, so I need to go back upstairs. Until I get everything sorted up and sorted out and all that, I'm going to be doing a lot of running back and forth, grabbing this, grabbing that, and just grab all the machines at least. That, that. That, that, uh, that, 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 uh, da, 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 da. okay. Let's go down a floor. Ah, uh, let's see here. We're gonna want the induction smelter to be on its own little circuit over here. Which, by the way, I have upgraded to a resonant induction smelter. 
Um, I might make another one of these for the simple fact that I want slag. And set up processing like that. Let's see how. Fluid transposer can go here. Magma crucible can go there. Pulverizer. Can go here. Furnace can go there. Uh, fractionating still. This is all going to be like processing of things, so uh, fractioning stuff can probably go over here, and I'll just run pipes down the, here to it. Which means I think the uh, bat pole is going to go, and that's where the air elevator is going to go. So I already got it three wide, so I already got that closed in. Uh, yeah. It took quite a while to clear this building out. But, if you can tell, the ones that I've cleared have got lights on the roof. The ones that don't aren't finished. <laughs> but, this building and yes, it is clear. This building uh, it's completely closed off from my main building, but this, I do believe, I'm going to turn into my mob farm. I'm going to take this entire thing, basically vector plate the heck out of it, block up all the windows, knock out all the lights, and have every last mob going down to a mob crusher where I will be getting essence upon essence upon essence which means I'll be able to set up all sorts of fun stuff with enchanting because you know there's the enchantment factory and such okay fun fact <laughs> this side of this building was completely covered with a couple of buildings that went from here to right there at that corner of that building right there and right in this area was an explosion that generated in the lost city style and there's a trap door leading down to the basement of one of the buildings that was here all the rest of this, I cleared out and replaced with dirt, and the grass grew, and it's all lit up, and it's a very nice courtyard that's going to become a very fancy garden, where once the update for the TF2 mod comes in, where we can actually save the Australium statues. Huh? And what are you? Let's find out what you are. Very good sniper position up here. Oh, you're a red medic. Okay. Yeah. You saw down there, completely, the, completely lit up. Okay. And a TF2 mob still spawns down there. So, yeah. They don't exactly follow light levels. <laughs> Not completely. Let's... Let's see here. Can I put the elevator over here? Do I have all my elevators on me? I have one elevator on me. So let's put that guy right there. Two, three, four... Yeah. Let's go. Let's go down here where it's a little easier to get up to the storage area. 
And I'll sort out all these lights later. I'll probably replace them with glowstone. And yep. up here. Since this box is connected to the system. And an elevator. And a stream controller. More screens. Another elevator. Yeah. Um, right. There. That's where I'm going to put that elevator. And there. Elevator there. And the only thing I've really got to do is get power to the very bottom elevator. So that's not an issue. <coughs> oh, pardon. I do believe I need to go get a drink. Take a little break for a second. Check the time. I've been rambling on for a bit. So I'm going to make an elevator and set up my elevator. What? What do you what now? Over here? No. Ah, well, I got plenty of windows. Yeah, plenty of windows. No Linux here. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, yeah, I'm going to finish setting up the elevators, get the last elevator I need made, which is going to be the one down there, and run power probably down this side, or maybe down this side of the building, and then just run it under the floor, it's the last elevator over there. So... Uh, yeah, I think I will see you guys in just a second. Alright guys, I'm back, and we have an elevator again. And, second floor, processing and machines, third floor, storage, ooh, that's not good. There we go. Much better. <laughs> really gotta check my light levels in here, I haven't seen. Or not. Weird. Hmm. I'm guessing he spawned there. Because I had to remove a light. And fourth floor. Power generation. Uh, currently, I have an emerald block in here. This thing is still pre-warming because I just got it set up. Uh, we're currently running off battery backup reserve. And the roof. Very nice little spot on the roof now. And back down to the ground floor. So, uh, I do believe that that's going to do it for this episode. This will be a grand fur garden. <laughs> I just need to get some furgs. Uh, can't wait for that update to the TF2 mod because that's coming soon. The mod dev let us know that, about that. Uh, let's see. There will be a live stream from Vagrom explaining everything that's been going on. Uh, explaining that, <laughs> mostly. Uh, and the VOD for that should be up probably sometime Friday to today actually um, so yeah but like 60% of Redberg is clear and that's mainly because I get bored so I I'm going to call it here so as always I'm the Dark Preacher, this is Grimco R&D, 
And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>